Well, thanks so much for having me at your run workout this morning. Uh, how's things with you currently? You're in between races and uh, be keen to hear what the workout is today as well. Yeah, thanks for joining me. Um, I am, so my next race is a long course race, PTO Dallas, mm -hmm. which is 100k distance, which is really new for me. I've only done one of these, um, so it's a bit of a step up. And so the run today, the session, is geared towards um, that style of racing. Sure. Um, and so... A lot of reps. Yes, yeah, so a lot of reps, <laughs> and we're mixing between the track and the road. Okay. Um, which I quite like, because it breaks the setup. Um, we're doing... Okay, I've got to remember. 400 <laughs> on the track, 1.2K. 800 on the track, 1.8K. 800 on the track, 2.2K. 800 on the track, 1.8K. 800, 1.2K, 400. Okay. And uh, kind of mixing between 10K pace and roughly sort of that 18K slash 21K pace effort. Pace, yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. Which is really new for me, so kind of trying to figure that out. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. I went out here at Centennial Track, which is your local, just down the road. Um, so in between the intervals, what will you take recovery-wise? Um, there is 80 seconds after the track intervals, yep. and 90 after the longer intervals. Okay. And uh, there's like a little jog across that we do to the um, road loop that we use. Sure, okay. Yeah. And uh, what else do you have on the program today other than the run? Obviously you've got... Um, you've... Yeah, this is the traffic, this is yep. not the only thing. Yep. Um, but I just have an easy swim, okay. and then a three hour ride in the afternoon. Okay. Just aerobic, hobby climb, yep. up toward Brainerd Lake. Sure. Um, yeah, so this is, this run session is sort of like one of the bigger ones yep. um, I've done. Yep. So. And in a week, I'm curious to know how much you would be running in general um, in, a, in a week like this leading up to a race. Would it be how many times a week and maybe roughly a, a mileage amount if you're able to share? Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm on the lower end, okay. so I'll run four times a week. Yep. And I run about 60Ks. Okay. So I pretty much just do sessions and a long run. Sure. I don't really do any easy aerobic runs. Sure, you probably get a lot of that stimulus from the I bike, do, obviously. Yeah, yeah, and I just find that um, through I've had a lot of injuries over the last few years and uh, just, yeah. So that, that works? 60K works for me right now. Yep. I would love to build it up a little bit more, yep. but at the moment it's working pretty well. Yeah. So. Sure. And who's joining you today? And today, I have Brad and Tyler. Um, oh, and my training partner, Kirsten, she's back there. Okay. Um, but these two did a lot of sessions with me. Yeah. Particularly Tyler. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is Commonwealth great. Commonwealth Games uh, relay team. Yep, Commonwealth Games yeah. relay team. So before that, we were doing a lot of shorter, faster stuff. Yeah. And Tyler was great. I could just tell him the pace. Yeah. He would run it. Dial it in. Yeah. Mostly, he sometimes likes to, uh, Go out quite hot and then settle in after he sees his 200 split. So, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but all good. All right, look forward to the workout. Brad the Lever King. The Lever King? Yep, Brad is from Lever. <laughs> okay. All right, look forward to the workout. I feel like I get to like a. Uh, I did like, I don't know. I'm do Are these the dearer ones? Okay. The edge plus, yeah. What shoe will you wear in a workout like this, Flora? Well, I really go between wearing carbon shoe, mm -hmm. Edge Plus, um, but today I think I'm going to wear the Noosas. Okay. Um, mostly because I just feel like I've been wearing carbon shoes a lot, and I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's like a weird thing of, should I do all my workouts in a carbon shoe, or should I default back to like a fast, yeah. right, regular shoe? Sure. You know? Yeah. I guess there is the... <clears throat> Something to be said for having the race day advantage of wearing the carbon shoe and saving it, yeah. Right, yeah. 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 Um, but Tyler's putting carbon on, so now I'm worried. I always wear carbon now. <laughs> so, but that's what happened initially. I did a workout with you and Sam, and you guys both had carbons on, so I panicked. And then ever since then, I can't not run in carbon shoes. Yeah, but I'm almost 40. I like the, It's like you get a nice little advantage, or I don't know, kickback? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to try, try these. Okay. Last week you went in those. Yeah, I did do the workout in these last week. And she was quick. That's fine. 
will you practice fueling in this workout? Um, yeah, well, I, did just I just took a gel, okay. Morton gel. Yeah. And then, yeah, I do have the Morton 160 in a bottle that I'll try and sip throughout. Okay. Because, yeah, that's been like my biggest thing of moving up to long course um, is, yeah, the fueling and sort of training my gut to take in ideally like 80 grams of carbs an hour. Yep. Which feels like a lot. Yeah, it's probably yeah. not that lot compared to a lot of other long course athletes, but for a newbie, um, yeah. Have you heard about the maple syrup trick, Lionel Sanders? <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> you haven't experimented more, with no. that or thought about it? No. I'm 100% I'm Morton fuel yeah, yeah, athlete. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since that episode that he, uh, he shot with the maple syrup, I feel like I've seen a lot of triathletes oh, really? uh, try yeah. as well. Yeah. That wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, he's tried a lot of um, things over the years, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I've just done your Are they giving, uh, they giving you a bit of flack for going out too fast? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I've been following you on Tuesday, and so on Thursday I'm thinking, and I went out a little too quick. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going 32 to 48, so that we hit that 400 mark. 3248? Yeah. <laughs> We're still on 80. What are we doing? Are we doing an 80? Yeah. Okay. 20. So we probably will go out in 35, just FYI. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll 40, 40. 40, 40. 40. You want to switch off on these? Up to you. Let's do it. You want to go first? Yeah. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. You go first, I'll go last. Okay, we're running into it. Yeah. Well, you have to end up your face, please. Yeah, he's the normally behind us, but he's camera shot today. <laughs> I'll get him on a bit later. Good. Miles to kilometers, and I don't know. <laughs> We're on a track now, so it should be should be fun. <laughs>
97 degrees. Oh, yeah, because it was afternoon, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would stink. 5 p.m. session. Mm -hmm. Do you want to get a look? Yeah. So we're doing another 800. Yeah, 800. 800. Yep. Oh, yeah. I can't even okay, ready? Not oh, really? <laughs> oh, he attacked the first uphill corner. And we ran out so fast. Are you doing a lot of sales in person? Yes. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the last 400, we're going to go out and we're going to give it everything. Nothing left. You're gonna have to carry us on stretchers. <laughs> you better go get four stretchers. Shoes, so he <laughs> makes yeah. sure you can run close I'm not to enjoying the these 800s at all. Good. Like out of the Metaspeed yeah. Sky or Edge? Uh, the Edge Plus. Edge Plus, nice. Yeah, I've been training in them. I quite like them. Yep. One, two minutes. So, and do you want um, you want 80, 80, yes? <gasps> yeah. Okay. Because yours was a little quicker, right? What was that, 240? It was like 120 mid and then, oh nice, 119 mid. My watch is off when I start at the back, because I'm looking down and going. Uh, we're going 10. Right. I feel so much better. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. Okay, ready? My first hundred said thirteen, and I was like, "This what? can't be right." It's the autopilot is taking like a second or two to oh. to start. I, I had like two forty five, so that's perfect. Nice. No, Sam Lazo on his. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What do we have to go now? Um, an 800, a 1.2, and a 400. Okay. You're so, so far so good. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah. A little tired, but yeah, going okay. 
Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. There. Yep. Good work. On the button. Okay. Right, ready? Three, two, one. School got pulled out. So I won't be able, I won't be able to do my Lionel impression. You needed some duct tape. No, masking tape. I need black masking tape. I'm not breaking my tooth for a video. I'm not hardcore. Three, two, one. Quick response. Exactly. <laughs> Within minutes. <laughs> this is a live YouTube, right? <laughs> Someone from the school said it's gonna, not going to go down well. <laughs> That was the volume of the workout, 7 a.m.? Okay. Yeah, with warm up and warm -up. the session and all the little jog bits. Yeah, yeah. Which is big. That's. Yeah, that's quite a long workout. I don't usually do that big. Yeah, yeah. So these are definitely a big test for me. But it's cool I can do them because this time last year I would have been way too scared to do a workout like this. Yeah, yeah. What sort of volume are your workouts on the track typically? Or what's, what's a well, favorite workout of yours that you'll do on the track? Um, I really like 400s. Yep. I guess before Commonwealth, I was doing a lot more 5K stuff, mm -hmm. and because most of my races before Commonwealth were all sprint distance, so 400s and like just if I'm like um, I don't know 12 fours. Yeah, I guess maybe starting at like 74 and dropping through to 70. Yep, yep. And if I can do that up here at altitude after as the last session of the day, yeah. then I know I'm rolling pretty good. Yeah, sure. So that's kind of nice, you know, and you can run. Yep. That's fast for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and what is your, I'm curious myself, what's your long run look like? My long run? I guess it probably depends on what race yeah, is coming up. Yeah, it depends. Up, yeah. Um, they're usually between sort of 80 and 90 minutes. Okay. And yeah. um, hopefully going to stretch them a little bit to 140, 145, one hour 40, one hour 45. Yep. Um, but yeah, I've kind of been able to get away with, as I said, not doing too much yeah. volume for yeah. a while. Yeah. And so it's kind of, yeah. 
interesting to be pushing it a little bit now. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, I really appreciate you having me out and all the best at the upcoming races, especially the PCO. Yeah. Forward. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.